Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving on Highway 2000 East West Lake. This is a road that takes you from Kingston to Mandeville. Today I want to ask you guys a question. What parish do you think has the most developments going on right now in Jamaica? Now, Jamaica is going through basically you could say a renaissance. Everywhere you look you see the developments and we're not talking a four or five story building, we're talking massive mega developments. If you see the amount of commercial buildings being built, 10 floor buildings, mega buildings, 20 floor buildings, hotels going up all over Jamaica, commercial business centers, warehouses going up everywhere, highways being built. So today we want to figure out which parish has the most developments going on. Big developments, mega developments. Now, we think it will be between St. Catherine and St. Anne. Because everywhere you look in St. Catherine, there is some sort of development going on. There is also St. James because a lot is happening in Montego Bay. So guys, let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. Now, St. Anne has Draxhall in it. It has Runaway Bay, Discovery Bay, Ocho Rios. Every one of those towns, major developments going on. Draxhall alone, you have over 20 buildings being built. That little section alone. Runaway Bay has some massive developments. Discovery Bay, massive developments. Well, Trelawney also has a few developments. Montego Bay, oh my God. You have hotels being built down there. You have the Montego Bay Perimeter Road. You have malls being built. But in terms of the, a parish that has the most, I still think it's going to be St. Anne. Now, St. Catherine has some massive developments as well. You have um, Bernard Lodge, the Bernard Lodge area. You have Sajikor building a mall. Portmore has so many developments. It's unbelievable. You have that massive plaza. Being, Sajikor is building two massive plazas in, in St. Catherine. You have the 876 commercial complex, the Rain Tree complex, the Caymana special economic zone. So guys, what do you think? Which parish do you think has the most developments? We probably might have to, the top three parishes that you think. Because I'm sure St. Catherine, well, our list would be St. James, number three, St. Catherine, number two, and St. Anne, number one. So guys, let us know what you think, which the parishes you think have the most mega developments. Leave your comments in the section below. Alright guys, have a good day.